Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Lake Tahoe. Got that gorgeous run up behind me in Squaw Valley Ski Resort and just had a fabulous time out on the slopes today. And I just wanted to talk to you about accommodating yourself. You know when you've got CFS, for some reason it's almost like we doubt ourselves. Because we don't look ill and we don't understand the illness so often, we don't know why we can't do the things that we should in quotes, we should be able to do. And so what happens is we can become our own worst enemy. Because if we had a broken leg, we wouldn't mind having a cast on it or using crutches. But because this is a neurological illness, I think we have a challenging time giving ourselves the things that we need. So I just want to uh, share with you a few things that have helped me on my journey. And one of them was Rhea Bartlett Quinn, my coach from CFS Health, was encouraging me whenever I would go on a trip. She said, make this as easy for yourself as possible. And you know, I wasn't used to thinking of things like that. I was always looking at how can I make things easy for the family? And you know, that didn't necessarily equate for being easy for me. And so one of the things that started was getting a wheelchair in the airport when we traveled. And you know, that was a little humiliating in the beginning but once I started doing it and realizing that that's what I needed it wasn't an issue the second way is to ask yourself what can I do to support myself you know I remember I would be in the kitchen with my kids and they would start talking and of course I would want to engage with them in, with conversation but it was really hard for me to stand and have a conversation so I would end up not being able to talk very long and then having to go lie in bed so what I did was buy some kitchen stools for my kitchen and it's funny how long it took me to do that I don't know why it did maybe it was something about not realizing how I needed to support myself so you know having the chair now when somebody starts chatting I can just sit down and listen and it's not an issue and another thing was using a shower stool you know God forbid that I would use a shower stool <laughs> I wasn't some ancient person but you know what getting a little shower stool from Target and sticking it in the shower uh, made taking a shower much easier all along my path so uh, that's just another idea. And the final thing would be making out a list. How can I make this event more manageable for myself? So let's say you've got family coming in town. This happens to me frequently. And on one of the times it happened, I wrote down, what is my goal for the week? And what my goal was, was to come through without a crash. I wanted to enjoy the company, but that what that meant was I would have to be committed to my rest times and to setting boundaries and also to communicating with them about the illness. And you know, you can uh, have Jennifer Bray's TED Talk is a great one for people to watch um, or some of these other videos that we've discussed with CFS Health that will help people understand the illness. So um, what I would do is I'd write out on a little sheet, what is it that I want? My goal was to come through recovered. What are the challenges I face? Some of those were, what are they going to think, you know, and will I get to spend time with the people that I love? And so what I began to do was shift my perspective and just think, you know what, the time, I want to enjoy the time that I'm with them. And if I push and push and push the whole time they're here, I'm not going to enjoy the time because I'm going to be going beyond my limits. And that's sure to set me up for a crash afterwards. So getting it out on paper and then writing down, what can I do to make this work for me? and coming up with ideas. What are my strategies going to be? So I would say, okay, I'm going to have some fun things to lie down with during my rest time. I'm going to watch a webinar on CFS Health or do something to help, you know, or set up times for EFT during the visit and do things and keep my recovery going while they were here and allow them to fit into my recovery rather than trying to make my recovery fit into the, uh, the visit, if that makes sense. And what I found is even though I might have been spending less time with my, my family and loved ones, the time was actually richer because I was fully present. I knew that it was within my limits. So anyway, I just hope that some of these points will help you as you, if you have things coming up and, and looking at how you can accommodate yourself and make things easier on yourself so that your body can stay in a relaxed healing state which can just accelerate your recovery. So take care of warriors and remember life's not over, it's starting again.